Alrighty then, this is Mr. Polarski, and we're getting ready to solve systems of equations algebraically. Two methods that we're going to use, or we've used, are to use the substitution method. Uh, you can see here it's best if the, one of the variables has a coefficient of 1. Uh, today we're going to concentrate on the idea of elimination. Uh, you can use em elimination pretty much any time it's best if we have situations like this. Here we have two equations, x plus 2y is equal to 3 and 4x minus 2y is equal to 7. Um, the elimination method here, it gives us these directions, the elimination method. You could choose to use substitution here because this does this x term does have a coefficient of 1. But using elimination, we can notice that the y terms have the same but opposite signed coefficients. Uh, plus 2y and minus 2y. So if we add these two equations together, and in fact we're going to start to number my work, uh, equa uh, line 1 and line 2 of the work, we're going to add these two equations together. The result will be 5x is equal to 10. Now we get used to saying that these two terms cancel. In reality they're uh, additive inverses so they become 0. So here's line 3. To continue to solve this equation, uh, we divide each side by 5, giving us x is equal to 2. And that would be our line 4. My 3 didn't turn out so hot. So now that we have one of the variables, we can take that value, in this case of x, and substitute it back into one of the original equations in line 1 or 2. I'm going to substitute it into the first equation giving me 2 plus 2y is equal to 3. I just substituted this 2 in for the x in the first equation. Uh, solving this equation, subtracting 2 from each side. Gives us 2y is equal to 1, dividing each side by 2, giving us y is equal to 1 half. And line 7 gives us our second coordinate, so our final answer, or the solution, is the ordered pair x is 2, y is 1 half. Now we can check that work by substituting into one of the original equations. doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to take the first one. This will be our check. And we will substitute the uh, solution, 2 comma negative 1 half, the 2 in for the x, and the 1 half in for the y. And we will see if it is indeed true. 2 times 1 half is 1, and indeed, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So 3 is equal to 3, so it does check. So our solution is the ordered pair right there, 2 comma 1 half. Okay, here we are. Solve using the elimination method. Hopefully you can recognize after the first example that if we add these two equations together, the y terms are going to eliminate, leaving us with 5x is equal to 20. Dividing each side of this by 4 will leave us with x is equal to... Damn it. All right, you really got to edit this out. Oh, uh, this sucks. Okay. Solve using the elimination method. Hopefully after the last example, you can see if we add these two equations together, the y terms are going to eliminate. Remember, that's because they have opposite signs and the same number coefficient. They're additive inverses of one another. That'll give us 5x is equal to 20. 
dividing both sides by 5, x is going to be equal to 4. Now, we need to substitute that in to one of the original equations. It doesn't matter which one. Anyone will do. We're going to substitute this 4 in for the x, giving us 2 times 4 plus 2 times y is equal to 6. Multiply these two together. 8 plus 2y is equal to 6. Subtracting 8 from both sides, giving 2y is equal to negative 2. Dividing both sides by a negative 2, y is equal to negative 1. That's the one part of our solution. There's two parts. We're looking for an ordered pair. Remember, the ordered pair is going to satisfy both of these equations. Now we need to take this result, y is equal to 1, and substitute it back into one of the original equations. Since having used 3x minus 2y is equal to 14, I'll use it now. Remember, we're substituting negative 1 in for y, so that'll give us 3x minus 2 times negative 1 equal to 14. Simplify this, that'll give me plus 2 here. So we have 3x plus 2 is equal to 14. Subtracting 2 from both sides. Here's a different way to show it. Over here, I showed the work explicitly with the divide by 5. In the orange section, I didn't show any work. Over here, I'm showing the work a little bit differently. Subtracting 2 from both sides. That'll give 3x is equal to 12, dividing both sides by 3. That'll give x is equal to 4. So our solution here is going to be x is equal to 4, y is equal to negative 1. Remember, you can always test this solution by plugging it into one of the original equations. And we could do that test like this. It doesn't have to be anything hard. 3 times 4 minus 2 times negative 1 equal to 14. When you do the math here, 3 times 4 is 12. Negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. And 12 plus 2 is 14. So 14 does equal to 14. That does check out.